Have you ever wondered why the lion is often referred to as the king of the jungle? This majestic creature, with its commanding presence and formidable reputation, has long been a symbol of power and courage in the animal kingdom. But what exactly sets the lion apart from all other beasts? Well, it's more than just the lion's impressive stature or its thunderous roar. The lion's anatomy plays a crucial role in its dominance, a combination of strength and precision that is unmatched in the wild. In this exploration, we'll be taking a closer look at the lion's unique anatomical features, including its muscular build, powerful jaws, razor-sharp claws, and distinctive mane. But that's not all. We'll also be examining the lion's piercing eyes and its awe-inspiring roar, two key elements that contribute to its kingly status. So, are you ready for an adventure into the animal kingdom? Join us as we delve into the fascinating world of the lion, the true king of the jungle. What makes a lion so intimidating? It's all in their stature. When we talk about the lion's stature, we're discussing more than just its size. Sure, lions are big. A fully grown male can stretch to lengths of 10 feet from nose to tail and stand four feet tall at the shoulder. But it's not just the sheer size that's impressive. It's also about the weight. Adult males can weigh between 330 to 550 pounds, and females usually range from 265 to 400 pounds. These numbers might make more sense when you realize that the average human weighs around 137 pounds. This weight isn't just for show, it contributes to the lion's strength, power, and dominance. The muscle mass of a lion is exceptional, designed to take down prey and defend their pride. When a lion pounces, every ounce of its weight is put to use, ensuring it has the force to secure its meal or protect its family. And what about height? Well, a lion isn't the tallest of the big cats, the tiger holds that record, but it's still substantial. Their height allows them to scan their surroundings with ease, spotting potential threats or prey from a distance. It's a critical factor contributing to their survival in the wild. Comparing a lion to other large cats can also emphasize its unique physique. Take the tiger for example. Tigers may be larger overall, but the lion's build is more robust. Their bodies are designed for power and endurance, rather than speed and agility. This difference in physique is part of what makes lions the kings of their domain, able to hold their own against other large predators. So, the next time you see a lion, whether it's on a safari or in a nature documentary, take a moment to appreciate their stature. It's a testament not just to their size, weight, and height, but also to their strength and dominance in the animal kingdom. The lion's impressive stature is just the tip of the iceberg. Let's dive deeper. A lion's teeth and claws, deadly tools for survival. Imagine the most perfect tools nature could design for hunting and self-defense. For lions, these are their teeth and claws. These formidable weapons are designed for efficiency and are perfectly honed for the challenges of the African savanna. Let's start with the teeth. A lion's mouth is equipped with 30 razor-sharp teeth. The most impressive of these are the canines. These four long pointed teeth can measure up to three inches in length. They are not just for show, they play a crucial role in the lion's hunting strategy. When a lion catches its prey, it uses these canines to deliver a fatal bite to the neck, severing the spinal cord or asphyxiating the prey. In addition, the lion has carnassial teeth, a set of sharp-edged teeth at the back of the mouth. These teeth act like a pair of scissors, slicing through meat and bone with ease. They allow the lion to consume its meal swiftly, minimizing the chance of it being stolen by other predators. Now let's talk about the claws. Each of the lion's four paws is equipped with five retractable claws. When not in use, these claws are kept sheathed to prevent wear and tear. But when it's time to hunt or defend, the claws are extended. These claws, sharp as a knife's edge, provide the lion with the grip it needs to hold on to struggling prey. In a fight, these claws can deliver powerful swipes, capable of inflicting severe wounds. It's not uncommon for a lion to use its claws to fend off threats from other lions or predators. These claws, combined with their muscular bodies, make lions one of the most formidable predators on the planet. So as you see, a lion's teeth and claws aren't just impressive to look at. They are perfectly adapted tools, honed by millions of years of evolution, designed to help the lion survive in the harsh reality of the African savanna. The lion's teeth and claws are not just for show, they are essential survival tools in the harsh African savannas. Ever wonder why male lions have manes? Well, these majestic tufts of hair serve a multitude of purposes. Primarily, the mane is a distinguishing feature that sets males apart from their female counterparts, 
also known as lionesses, who are maneless. But it's not just about differentiation. The mane plays a crucial role in the mating ritual. It's like a lion's resume, advertising his health and vitality to potential mates. A thick, dark mane signals a strong, healthy lion, making him more attractive to lionesses. This mane also serves as a shield during fights, protecting the lion's neck and throat areas, which are vulnerable to attacks. It's like a natural armor, shielding them from the fatal blows of their opponents. So you see, a lion's mane is far more than just an accessory. It is a testament to the lion's strength, a mark of his health, and a tool for survival. A lion's mane is not just a fashion statement, it is a symbol of strength and virility. A lion's roar, a sound that can be heard up to five miles away. This is no ordinary roar, it's a marvel of nature, and the secret lies within the anatomy of the lion's vocal cords. The lion's larynx, the part of the throat that houses the vocal cords, is uniquely designed. It's elongated and tubular, unlike the shorter, more compact larynx found in most mammals. This distinctive design allows the lion's vocal cords to produce deeper, more resonant sounds. The vocal cords themselves are also special. They're thick and strong, able to withstand the intense pressure and vibrations needed to create the lion's powerful roar. When air from the lungs is forced through these vocal cords, they vibrate, producing sound waves that can travel for miles. But the lion's roar isn't just about volume, it's also a complex form of communication. Each roar is unique, carrying specific information about the lion, such as its age, size, and health. It's a calling card, a signature sound that identifies them to both friends and rivals alike. Lions also use their roar for territorial displays. A male lion's roar is a clear message to other males. This is my land, stay away. It's a warning, a signal of strength meant to deter potential challengers. At the same time, it's a reassurance to the pride, a comforting sound that says, I'm here, you're safe. Interestingly, female lions have a slightly different roar. It's softer, less threatening, often used to communicate with cubs or to call the pride together. It's a nurturing sound, a gentle roar that reflects the lioness's role as the caregiver of the pride. The lion's roar is a testament to the intricate design of nature, a perfect blend of form and function. It's a sound that inspires awe and respect, a sound that resonates with the raw power of the wild. So the next time you hear a lion's roar, remember, it's not just a sound, it's a powerful message to friend and foe alike. A lion's eyes, windows into the soul of the king of the jungle, delve into the captivating world of the lion's eyes, and you'll uncover a realm of extraordinary biological engineering. Embedded within the majesty of their golden gaze lies a complex system designed for precision, power, and prowess. In the wild, a lion's eyes are its most formidable weapon, even more than its razor-sharp teeth or lethal claws. And why is that? It's all about the intricate anatomy of these eyes. Lions, like most cats, have a specialized structure in their eyes called the tapetum lucidum. This mirror-like layer sits behind the retina and reflects light that passes through it back onto the retina. This little trick increases the amount of light available for the photoreceptors, thereby enhancing their ability to see in low-light conditions. Nighttime is when the lion truly shines, and its eyes are the stars of this nocturnal show. The tapetum lucidum gives them an upper hand, allowing them to hunt efficiently under the cover of darkness. Lions are crepuscular creatures, meaning they are most active during the dawn and dusk. Their eyes are tailor-made for these low-light conditions, enabling them to spot their prey from a distance and plan their attack with deadly precision. But that's not all. The eyes of a lion also play a crucial role in communication. Have you ever noticed the intense stare of a lion? It's not just intimidating, it's a powerful communication tool. A direct gaze can signal dominance, a warning, or even an invitation to play. In contrast, averted eyes can indicate submission or fear. The eyes of a lion, thus, are more than just sensory organs. They are tactical devices that provide them with a competitive edge in the ruthless world of the African savannas. They are an integral part of the lion's survival strategy, contributing to their status as one of the most feared and revered creatures on the planet. The eyes of a lion are not just for sight, they are an essential tool for survival in the African savannas.